how many people are addicted to cigarettes today. Now I'm not saying right now that smoking a cigarette is sin, but what I'm saying is that if you can't stop smoking, that is an addiction in your life, just as sin is an addiction in your life, you can't stop sinning without Christ. So in the same way that you can't put down that cigarette, you can only spend money on those cigarettes. In the same way, you need to be saved from your addiction to sin. For what, ma'am? What do you have a right to? I didn't hear what you said. I you know, apologize. My hearing's not great. But my friend, just as a cigarette is addictive, in the same way, sin, the soul that sins will die. He who commits sin is a slave to sin. Sin is addictive. It cannot be stopped apart from God intervening today. So what is the addiction in your life? What is the sin addiction in your life? What sins can you not stop? Is it hatred towards your family or friends? So what's the point of you making a speech in front of affirmations? Well, so the, the point is, um, well, I, I, I love I love Ferndale, and I come out here with the love of Jesus Christ, and I know that Ferndale is, is a pro-gay, and so the most, you know, important place I could stand today is right here at the center of Ferndale. I think this is the center of Ferndale. To preach Christ amongst a place that boasts in homosexuality. Because holding a rainbow flag shows that you're prideful about your homosexuality. Something that God says he hates, God calls sin. In Romans 1, in 1 Corinthians 6, he calls homosexuality sin, calls it unnatural. That is why I have to come out here. I have to boast in Christ in the hope that this city would know that homosexuality is sin and they should tear down those rainbow flags. How you doing? And they should turn to Christ so that he can save the homosexual from their sin. Mm -hmm. That is a great God, my friend, who came to earth and died a criminal's death and rose again on the third day so that you don't have to be punished. So you're all right if I was an atheist to go in front of your church and to tell your people well, that there is no the God. You're not an I could be. Later. Yeah, I am. Well, there's an atheist, sir. Huh? Everyone knows there's a God. Everyone doesn't know yeah. there's a God. Yeah, but, Everyone doesn't agree with you that there's God's a God. Revelation, God's revelation declares that everyone knows there's a God, but we suppress that truth in unrighteousness. Everybody doesn't read that book that you got in your hand. It doesn't matter whether they read it or not, we all know there's a God mm. because God has written his law in our hearts. That's not true. Right, so we look, we look at the creation, we know there's a creator. So your point of doing this in front of affirmations is to save us. Yeah, my point of doing this is, is to boast in Christ and that he can save a homosexual. In front of affirmations. Which is a which is a which is a which is a gay lesbian community center. That's actually. Oh, you didn't know affirmations is a gay lesbian community center. I didn't know what it meant. And but now that I know what it's about, I'm glad I'm here. But you saw the flags there, though, right? Yeah. You're boasting in a sin that God hates. All right. So yeah, I mean, but so now that I know what it's about, so of course I I'm I'm happy to stand here every time I come here. Oh, okay. So you're gonna make this a habit to come here often and do this. Now that you know this place is about affirming lesbian, gay, bisexual, well, so and transgender people. I'm not here to pick on affirmations, per se. I can't tell. But, but I mean, I'll, I'm, I'm, I'll make a regular appearance if the Lord wills it, if the Lord wants me to come back here. I don't think the world wills it. Definitely, the people that use this community center aren't interested in having your That's hate okay. spewed upon them. America. It is, right but it's like a, but this is like a hospital. People, people come here to get away from the hatred that you spew from them, uh -huh. and we well, have, so we have, love, we have, hatred. this is not love. Fact, I think the gay this is not love. This is not love that you give in. You are hurting people. You are hurting people. People come here for counseling so and mental it's, health it's services hatred. because they it's come from families that preach exactly what you're preaching. There are three to five thousand sure. youth on sure. a monthly if basis if that are kicked out of their homes because of the hate 
that hate that you skew every day. So if you think this is love, there's a trick to it. If you think this is love, you preach to a God that not a lot of people love or appreciate. And it's definitely not very Jesus-like. It's not very Jesus-like because Jesus embraced and loved everybody. He didn't sit in front of their homes and spew hate and hatred at them. So for you to call this good Christian behavior is actually... It's pretty sad. It makes Christianity look really bad. And you doing it right in front of affirmations. You're just, you're just, trust me. I'm the director. I'm the director of programs here. We have a ton of programs here where people are hurt. People are having mental health services. People are contracting HIV and AIDS. All because of this so-called love that you think you're providing here in front of this center that's meant to do nothing but help people. There is nobody. There is. A, we even have a spiritual. We have a spiritual group that meets here that's not preaching the hate that you're preaching. You should be embarrassed. You really should. It's like a doctor. Do no harm. It's like doc. It's like a doctor. Do no harm, and you're doing harm. Yep. So I'm gonna turn off my video.